So this is the Eagle Street Rooftop Farm. We're a 6,000 square foot organic green roof vegetable farm. We sell to local restaurants. For example, we've got Kale over here that we sell to Polly G. He's a bike ride distance away and he makes an amazing rooftop pizza pie with our kale. And we grow chili peppers, which we use to make hot sauce. And right now we're also growing some really fun crops. This is a strawberry popcorn that we're gonna use to do a show about kids and nutrition and healthy eating. And if you haven't heard of strawberry popcorn before or you've never seen it on a rooftop, uh, that's because it's an heirloom. It's gonna grow like a four inch or so well, on our farm, we're hoping for four inches or so uh, cob of corn. And then you can put it in a paper bag and pop that in the microwave and it will pop right off the kernel. Or the kernels will pop right off the cob. And they are strawberry colored. We also um, have some really beautiful tomatoes and eggplants just getting started. And in the empty beds, we're just starting to plant some of our fall crops. Although it is the middle of the summer, we like to think ahead. And this is actually one of my favorites. You would never expect this on a roof. But we grow beautiful carrots. And really small carrots. And some nicer larger carrots. So these are our rooftop bees. We have beautiful bees. They're actually raised in Brewster, New York. And we keep them over here away from the rest of the farm because it's safer. Um, it gives them a really nice space. They've got this beautiful flight path coming right towards me. And as you can see, then they then have the opportunity to pollinate some of the great street trees all over Greenpoint. Not particularly a neighborhood known for its street trees, but they do what they can. And then of course they visit the farm and they help pollinate our chili peppers. So we're actually gonna take a real close look on the bees here. Um, what these guys are doing is just starting to get out for the day and forage. So these are lady worker bees, very active morning, it's a beautiful day. And then depending on how sticky the hive is, I'm going to see if I can open the top cover and we can take a little look on how they're doing. These bees were just introduced like two weeks ago now. So what you're looking at here, this is very active, beautiful day. Again, these are all lady worker bees. They're coming up to the top wondering what I'm doing. And I don't know, they might have propolized it a little too heavily, but at the very least you can just kind of see they're trying to investigate what I'm doing. And inside they've started to build up comb. That's sticky, there we go. All right. And how beautiful is that? That is a beauty beehive. So we've got um, some of my hair. Um, we've got comb that's full right now of honey. Um, you can see this whiter honey. Oh, that's a bee sting. <laughs> that's okay. All right, great. So that's bees. Beekeeping is really exciting. <laughs> and uh, when you do it properly with a veil and with smoke, and with a bee suit on, they do not sting you. Um, I promise, bees are very easy to work with. So these are the chickens, you can meet them over here. Hello girls. The hens here are all different types. This is an aracuna, she lays blue eggs. And then we've got other hens over here that lay smaller eggs or brown eggs. The big value for us with the chickens is their manure. So they live in this row, which as you can see is right at the edge of the farm and it stops people from walking off the deck uh, or off the roof, which is useful safety-wise. And then when we take this chicken run at the end of the season, you can actually move the whole thing. It's very lightweight. You can move it row to row when all the plants are dead and the hens will eat the remaining weed seeds and their manure is really useful over the winter. It sits on the fallow farm and feeds the soil with them. Um, mostly nitrogen, it's very nitrogen heavy. So inside, we have one little bird. I'm gonna see if I can pick her out. This little girl is a broody girl, which means she's trying really hard to lay eggs. But the unfortunate thing is, because we don't have a rooster, she's never actually gonna have any babies. But you can see she likes to sit in the nest anyway, thinking they'll hatch. Hey, Chuka. We've had birds escape a couple of times, but 
hen laying eggs in general are not really built to fly away. So we've caught them and brought them back onto the farm. They usually just fly down to the street and we find them again. And that only happens if somebody accidentally leaves the top of the coop open, which is an early season mistake that is not often repeated. One of the fun crops we're growing up here are peaches. These are a beautiful heirloom peach and it's doing well because it's growing in a container. So it's a little deeper than the greener soil. And then over here, we have a beautiful collection of wildflowers. These are seeds that were donated by the Hudson Valley Seed Library. This is part of a partnership to grow some of the plants that are most adapted at growing in New York City, and also just generally really beautiful plants for our pollinators. Even our bees, even when they're mean, deserve something nice to eat. So we've got this little garden growing back here. Unfortunately, it's just finished flowering, but it's still really beautiful. And what I like about it is that every time people come up here to visit, no, oh, there's one of the honeybees right now. Tell your girlfriends not to sting me anymore. Uh, anytime people come out to visit, they want to come see this beautiful skyline, but what they actually get a chance to see flowering right in front of it are these stunning pollinator-friendly native flowers. Thank you guys so much for visiting. I hope you were inspired by the opportunity to come up and see one of New York City's most beautiful landmarks, a commercial green roof vegetable growing rooftop farm. We're really excited to be doing what we do and we hope to inspire a lot of other people to do it as well. And you can learn more about us at rooftopfarms.org. And I'm Annie Novak, and I'm wearing a pair of Google Glass.